All right, so what I'm going to do today is um, a little tool I came across on Google called Perfect Pixel. So uh, all you do is Google Perfect Pixel. Shows the first one here. Uh, make sure you guys know how to do this. Download it. It's already added to my name, so we are good to go. Um, so here is a picture of just a very, very, very simple website that I would like to create. Now, jump into what I have so far. Here's what I got. It's not great. Um, it's getting there, but there's still a lot of things to be tweaked on it. So what I can do is I'm going to go, this is perfect pixel, open this up right here. And what I do is add a new layer. And you're going to take the uh, JPEG file or the PSD that you have, open that up, and it's going to show it as it does. So you got kind of like a 50% opacity of the finished product right in front of you. And what you can do is you're going to move this guy over here, fix it up to I think, uh, it's, you know, that's pretty much there. All right, so that's lined up. And we can see there's a ton of stuff off. You know, we're not even close to what we need to do. So I'm going to lock it, push that away, and then this is the fun part. You just go into your inspector, go to your sources, your CSS, and now you can just you mess with the entire thing. So let's go to our H1 the header. Uh, looks good. It's the wrong color, so let's fix that first of all. Boom, color's white. Here we go. And obviously, we need to move it down a bit, so let's give it some padding. Top, let's try 20 pixels. Nope. All right, 10. 10 looks good. And let's get rid of that, of that, but from the right. All right, that matches up, right? So we're good. Save that. I'll head down to, got to move down this Alaska frontier. We want that in the bottom, so I created a span for that, and we'll display it. Block, not a bloke. <laughs> There's that. It needs a little work on that guy, so we just go some padding top. Why not? Let's try three pixels. Is that good? Could be better. Four. Perfect. So you get the idea. You kind of just go through this and um, match the image, to your CSS, whatever you need to do to match the finished product. Um, and it saves you a lot of time, a lot of in between, jumping back and forth between your text editor and you know, this page, and then trying to measure out everything, whether you're using Photoshop, whatever you want to do. Um, so if you work our way down it, we've got, we need a margin for this guy to get the uh, nav bar down the bottom. Let's try 60 picks, almost. 66, oh, no, too much. 66, but we've got those. All right, so it's almost lined up. Something's off, probably. Font size. That could be a problem. So we go here. You want to choose one. Whoop. There we go. Perfect. So that's done. We have the whole header of the uh, page done in about a minute, which is awesome. And then it just follows all the way down through. So we can go down to the uh, content here. Content's good. It's got our border. H2, we're good. We just need to move it around again. So I'll do margin. I don't know, 24 picks, pretty much. Da, da, da. Do eight from that side, and that's good. <laughs> On to the next one. And you just keep going and going and going. And I mean, it's just, it's awesome. It saves you so much time and frustration and little, little stuff, and you have a pixel perfect project. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, guys.